I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad to be here bringing God's truth to you. Hear me, God's truth is sweet. Praise <laughs> God. Now, we are in the month of September already. Ready, charged. Praise God. Oh, oh, liba rusa breke nijahadayane. There is so much excitement in my spirit concerning this month. So much excitement. You know, people get scared about the ember months. They say, ha! Hey, 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 relax. Praise God. He said, I will be with you always. Hallelujah. So when you travel, he's traveling with you. When you fly, he's flying with you. Don't be afraid. I've told you this before. Whenever you are on a journey, maybe private or public transport, whether by road, by air, by sea, as soon as you step into that vehicle, take charge of it. Um, take charge of it. It belongs to you. You say, I'm flying an airplane. How do you say it belongs to me? It belongs to you. Mm. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, right? So it belongs to your father. Do you agree with that? Okay, if it belongs to your father, you are an heir to your father. So what does that mean? You've got shares of everything on this earth. You've got shares. Kakuma ambrede nekwadas kabaya. You've got shares in every business that is on this earth. You've got shares. Kaleko mono is your inheritance. Whether they know it or they don't know it, you've got shares. So you step into that plane for that moment, you are in charge. You might be sitting at the back seat, man, but you are in charge. So do what? Take charge. Put your hand on that plane and say, Lord, thank you. As I go on this journey, plane, I'm here now. So I command the weather to be favorable to us. And I command this craft or this vehicle or this car to function right, right now. You are carrying royalty. So behave. <laughs> God. Oh, thank you, precious Lord. I'm telling you, you speak like that. What is going to challenge you? Jesus traveling in a boat. I've told you this before. He went ahead to sleep. They came to wake you and said, Master, don't you care we perish because there was a storm. And Jesus woke up and looked around and just said, said, peace, be still. That's all he said, peace, be still. Do you know what that means? It wasn't a prayer. When he left, <laughs> and, and the Bible said, the moment he said it, everywhere became calm. And then, they looked at Jesus and said, what manner of man is this? Even the waves hear him. Uh -uh. The waves didn't even have to hear him. When they started that journey, they started in peace. And Jesus commanded peace to reign on that journey. And then he went to sleep. And suddenly a storm came and started wrestling with the peace. That was leading them in the first place. Ah, yeah, Kabe, yeah. I want you to have an understanding of life. And, and Jesus woke up and, Master, Master, hey, what's going on here? I commanded peace to reign. So where is the peace? No, 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 I never changed my mind about that. So peace remain. That's what he meant by peace be still. Peace be still. No, no, peace continue to be. And peace said, Yes, sir came back, get out, you storm. <laughs> and the storm checked out. Because the storm was operating without permission. When you start out your journey, command peace. And start the journey in peace. 
and that peace will carry you throughout that journey. Praise God. Hey, hey, let's call for that daily bread. I know time is gone, but I needed to share that with you. Say, Father, I demand today and I receive my daily bread in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hear me now. We are talking about the power of a renewed mind. And yesterday we ended at Matthew chapter... Where were we now? Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Jesus speaking here. He says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Now, listen to me. Every prophecy that God have ever given was for a reason. Everyone that spoke under the influence of God's Spirit was for a reason. The documentation of this Bible that we have is for a reason. And in it is contained words of prophecies. And mind you, what is contained in this book is not all the prophecies that God has spoken. If, just like John said, just the things Jesus did, if they need to write it, John said the world will not be able to contain the book that will be written. So if every prophecy, and, and, and you see, May God give you understanding right now. Mm. You pick up the book of Isaiah and you want to think that that is everything Isaiah said. You'll be deceiving yourself to think that way. You pick up, you, you think everything written here, you know, and then you find people go, the Bible says anybody that adds anything to this book so much ignorance going on so this you know, so because of that scripture people say this is a closed book this is the bible the bible is the word of god it's a closed book you can't add anything to it you can't subtract anything from it so what does that mean if it's not written here then it doesn't exist you see the trouble with a lot of people everything that was spoken could not have been written so how do we know today? Number one. Number two, understand this. We were not sent here to carry a book like this, the Bible now, and try to or strive or struggle to live our lives according to this book. That was not the mission that God gave to us. And that's where many have been making a big mistake in their lives and that's why there's so much struggle going on amongst believers they struggle because they don't know the way they struggle because they don't understand the pattern they are struggling to live their lives according to this book no we don't live our lives according to this book we fulfill the things that are written in this book and not even only in this book every prophecy that have been spoken every prophecy that have been said every law that was given by god we our lives the reason we are here today is that we fulfill it question then is how do we fulfill it that is the reason God gave us the Holy Spirit, number one. And I was telling you that the reason we got born again is for this very purpose. That the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of us. And now the Holy Spirit is in us. His job on a daily basis is to guide us into all truth like Jesus said. What truth? The truth that has been there from the beginning. Not the truth we try to manufacture today. Listen to me. Everything about our life today is going to be according to that which has been said before. Whether I know it or I don't know it, words have been spoken concerning me. And today I am here to fulfill that which was spoken concerning me. Now what does that mean? It means to show that the one who spoke before was right. 
the one who spoke before I came was true. You know, I met my maternal grandmom and many, many years ago, you know, she, she called me and she said to me, she said, listen, when you were born, you know, then they, they didn't scan like we do now, you know, and now you can even know from about four months or so, you can know the sex of the baby. Well, she, so my, my grandma was telling me this, that when my mom was pregnant for me, that I came to her in a vision and I opened the Bible to her and showed her Romans chapter 1 and verse 17. Say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And I read it to her and she knew from that day that my mom was carrying a male child and this child was going to be a preacher. Now she told me this many years ago. I think I was in secondary school or primary school then when, when she told me. Now those are, those are part of my few experiences with her before she passed on. You know, now, I didn't live my life being conscious of what she said or trying to pray, oh, Father, my grandmom said that, no, I cannot even remember ever praying like that till this day. But you see, I lived my life like every other child got tempted with everything that everybody was tempted with, grew up, did rascally things also. And suddenly I met the Holy Ghost and I got born again and just couldn't find any other life to live but this that I'm doing today. And doing it in truth, not just because it's a responsibility. No, it's, it's a life. Just, you see, I feel the same way Paul said when he said, Woe is me if I preach not the gospel. I feel the same way. Now, what am I doing today? I fulfill, I'm fulfilling what my grandmother saw. Now, if she had written it down, maybe she did. I, did. I have not seen it. If she had written it down somewhere as a prophecy from the Lord, that my grandson is coming, he's going to be a male child, and he's going to preach the gospel. My life today, not that she laid hands on me and said, come, let me pray for you. No. But because the Holy Spirit, who gave her that vision, how do I know the Holy Spirit gave her that vision? Today proves that the Holy Ghost gave her that vision. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now that same Holy Spirit came upon me and began to guide me into all truth. What truth? The truth of what has been said concerning me. Now I'm using this to tell you something. I can't find my name in this Bible and say, Atuboye, dear judge, who will preach the gospel. But it doesn't mean prophecies were not given concerning me. Till this day, men are still speaking, being led by the Holy Ghost. Now what's going on? As we yield ourselves to the Spirit of God, the first thing He does in our lives is to cause us to get, you know, we begin to receive new thoughts, new thinking, and when we do that, what's going on? Our minds are being renewed by the Spirit of God. Now, suddenly, preaching was not what I thought I was going to be growing up. I had my life cut out in my mind what I wanted to be. But as, as I kept going on and, and, and you try to enter this door and then it's shut against you. You try this door, it's shut against you. And then you go before the Lord and say, Lord, what's going on? And then the voice of God came to me and says, huh, son, I have called you to teach my word. Teach your word? How? 
what do I know to teach? And from that day, so several years ago, precisely 1999, I, I sat down and I opened the Bible. Suddenly, an understanding began to dawn on me. Things I have never heard before, I began to understand it. Brothers and sisters, understand this today. There are words that have been spoken before you came. And those words, you see, there are people who are behind, who are just there and, and watching to see what God told them. There are words even that have been spoken by people who are alive concerning you. Meaning the Holy Ghost gave them those words. And I pray today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your life being led by the Spirit of God is fulfilling every word, every good word that have been spoken concerning you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day.